Hi everyone, today we will be starting with the example session on heat. There will be a few multiple choice questions and this will help you practice. So let's get into it. Our first question is, which of the following terms is used to differentiate between heat and temperature? Alright, so what was heat? It was energy. Alright, and what was temperature? Alright, temperature was how we calculated heat all right how much is it rising how much is it falling okay so answer is calorie this is how we differentiate between heat and temperature okay so calorie the definition of a calorie is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of water by how many degrees celsius okay so if you remember the definition of one cal or one calorie it was raising the temperature of one gram of water not one liter one gram of water by one degree celsius okay so answer is a one degree celsius not 10 not 100 not 1000 okay if i have a beaker and there is one gram of water in it and I give it heat to raise its temperature. How much heat, how many cals do I require so that this temperature is increased by 1 degree Celsius? Okay, so 1 degree Celsius. What is the SI unit of heat? What is the SI unit of heat? Kelvin. SI unit of temperature. It is Kelvin. Alright, internationally Kelvin is used, okay, in labs and all. Now, which temperature scale is commonly used in scientific calculations and has its zero point at absolute zero? Alright, so which temperature scale? Now, temperature scale were of many types, okay, uh, the Celsius scale, the rumor scale, the Fahrenheit scale and all okay so amongst this this one is used in scientific calculations okay I just repeated scientific calculations and has its zero point at absolute zero okay so the zero point will be at absolute zero absolute zero right answer is Kelvin Whenever they mention scientific calculations, it is Kelvin because internationally it is Kelvin. In the Fahrenheit scale, what is the boiling point of water? Okay, now I told you to remember all the scales, all the formulas, how they are converted and everything. Okay, so the boiling point of water in the Fahrenheit scale is 212 degree. Fahrenheit okay 212 degree Fahrenheit boiling point not freezing point boiling point which temperature scale is used in the rumor scale okay which temperature scale is used in the rumor scale it is Celsius all right in the rumor scale as well we used celsius only okay degree celsius it was the rumor scale but the values will be different okay so which temperature scale is used in rumor scale celsius what is the relation between the celsius and the kelvin temperature scale if you remember the formula you will be easily able to do this okay k is equal to degree celsius minus 273 Degree Celsius is equal to degree Kelvin plus 273. Degree Kelvin is equal to degree Celsius plus 273. Or degree Celsius is equal to degree Kelvin minus 273. Okay. Answer is C. The formula was degree Celsius plus 273. We add because in degree Kelvin the temperature was plus 273.15 right okay so here it's 
डिग्री केल्विन इज इक्वल टू डिग्री सेल्सियस प्लस टू ओके वॉट इज द डिवाइस यूज टू मेजर द स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी ऑफ अ सब्सटेंस वॉट वॉज द डिवाइस ओके द डिवाइस यूज टू मेजर स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी क्यू और राइट इफ यू रिमेंबर डेल्टा क्यू स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी थर्मोमीटर बैरोमीटर हाइड्रोमीटर कैलोरी मीटर आंसर इज कैलोरी मीटर दैट वॉज यूज टू मेजर द स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी विच टर्म रेफर्स टू द अमाउंट ऑफ हीट रिक्वायर्ड टू रेज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ यूनिट मास ऑफ सब्सटेंस बाय वन डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके नाउ अमंग्स दिस दीज टर्म्स वन टर्म रेफर्स टू द अमाउंट ऑफ हीट ओके अमाउंट ऑफ हीट वॉट आर दिंग अमाउंट ऑफ हीट दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू रेज टेम्परेचर ऑफ वन यूनिट मास वन यूनिट मास कंसिडर वन ग्राम वन यूनिट मास बाय वन डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके सो दिस अमाउंट ऑफ हीट हैज दिस डेफिनेशन विच वन इज दिस लेटेंट हीट स्पेसिफिक हीट कन्वेक्शन रेडिएशन आंसर इज स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी राइट इट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ हीट राइट दैट मच हीट दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू रेज द टेम्परेचर राइट हीट रेज इज टेम्परेचर रिक्वायर्ड टू रेज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ यूनिट मास ओके अ यूनिट मास बाय वन डिग्री सेल्सियस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which method of heat transfer occurs through direct contact between objects and particles? Okay, now the key word here is direct and contact. Okay, so you need to be in touch. The particles need to be in touch so that heat can transfer. Okay, so for example, uh, there is this hot substance. I have put a metal pot over here. Okay. and inside there is water all right heat will be transferred through direct contact this contact con contact between the particles between the surfaces okay so heat is transferred through direct contact what is this conduction convection radiation insulation it is conduction all right convection was in liquids and gases radiation is through without touch okay without contact is radiation no contact and insulation is prevention of heat okay which method of heat transfer involves movement of heated fluid or gas particles right now i told you conduction is in solids now they have asked heated fluid or gas particles involves the movement of heated fluid fluid is liquid or gas particles what is this convection convection sea breezes are formed due to which method of heat transfer again this is an application of convection all right what is happening in sea breeze if you remember there is cold air over sea there is hot air over land because it gets heated cold air from sea moves towards land and hot air rises upwards okay this is what happens now since air and water are being involved and it's a heat process this is convection there is nothing conduction happening over here between solid solids nothing of that sort is happening so convection which method of heat transfer does not require a medium to travel through okay i gave you an example of microwave ovens okay there is no fire inside it but we put the food we turn it on and our food gets hot 
हाउ डिड दिस हैपन दिस इज ड्यू टू इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक वेवस राइट दिस इज वॉट हीट एंड दैट डज नॉट रिक्वायर एनी मीडियम डज नॉट रिक्वायर अ मीडियम टू ट्रेवल सो इट इज रेडिएशन अनदर सिंपल एग्जाम्पल वॉज ऑफ अ तंदूर ओके supposedly here is the grill we all have seen tandoor there is food over here we put some food over here under this there is coal which is hot there is a lot of coal but it is not in contact with the food this portion is very hot hot all right this portion is very hot and heat from coal is emitted as radiation and it cooks the food all right so that is also an example of radiation which of the following is an example of heat transfer by radiation okay so now again i have explained to you radiation now we will see which of the following shows radiation all right heating through radiation holding a hot cup of coffee now since i am holding it there is direct contact okay so for radiation i do not need direct contact so no cooking food in a pan again direct contact so no feeling warm near a fireplace yeah that could be because we are not in contact the radiation the heat coming from the fire is enough for us and that is radiation getting burned by touching a hot iron okay touching me involves contact so not this which temperature scale has its zero point at a absolute zero and uses the same degree size as celsius scale okay which temperature scale has its zero point at absolute zero this temperature scale has absolute point at uh, uh, has zero point at absolute zero it is kelvin okay by coming only this far in the question you can see and tell and uses the same degree size as celsius scale degree size okay same degree size kelvin and degree celsius both have same degree size okay so from this degree to this degree okay the amount of degrees in between is same for both all right but we measure them differently that is what what is the importance of radiation in daily life if radiation does not exist what would happen to the earth all right we are alive due to radiation okay how are we alive due to radiation from the sun radiation from we are not in contact with the sun but this light and heat that it emits as radiation comes to earth all right now this sunlight is used for growing crops heating supporting life day and night everything all right it's the basic thing so what is the importance of radiation in our daily it helps us in cooking food it allows us to see objects it provides warmth from the sun so the sun is the most important one because if we don't have sun how how are we supposed to cook we can't see there is no day and night okay it helps measuring temperature no it provides warmth from the sun this is the most important radiation in our daily life what is the boiling point of water in the kelvin scale okay i am repeating learn the scales learn the formulas the melting point and boiling point of each each scale okay what is the boiling point of water in kelvin scale it's 373 degree kelvin okay that is rough, uh, 100 degree celsius all right so 373 degree kelvin because they asked in kelvin okay which temperature scale is commonly used in the united states i told you we use degree celsius in india what do we use in the united states 
सेंटीग्रेड फेरन हाइट केल्विन रैंक इट इज फेरन हाइट डिग्री एफ ओके रिमेंबर द कन्वर्जन ऑफ डिग्री सेल्सियस टू डिग्री फेरन हाइट एंड फेरन हाइट टू डिग्री सेल्सियस ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व डिग्री केल्विन ओके डिग्री केल्विन टू डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड बैक डिग्री केल्विन टू डिग्री फेरन हाइट एंड बैक डिग्री फेरन हाइट इज यूज इन यूएसए दिस इज यूज इन यूएसए what is the freezing point of water in degree celsius scale okay so degree celsius ranges from 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius this was the melt, uh, this was the boiling point this was the freezing point okay this was the freezing point extremely hot extremely cold this is the temperature scale ओके सो व्हाट इज द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ वाटर इन द सेल्सियस स्केल फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट इज जीरो एफ पी इज जीरो जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस व्हाट वाज हंड्रेड इट वाज बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ओके द स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी ऑफ अ सब्सटेंस डिपेंड्स ऑन इट्स व्हाट राइट मास वॉल्यूम टेम्परेचर कॉम्पोजिशन इट डिपेंड्स ऑन इट्स कॉम्पोजिशन कॉम्पोजिशन okay what is it made up of what uh, what comprises of that substance okay so composition is what specific heat capacity depends upon okay how is heat transferred through conduction what was conduction again direct contact between particles involving solids okay so how is heat transferred movement of fluid particles no by tra direct transfer between objects by the flow of electricity by electromagnetic waves answer is c by direct contact between the objects by direct contact between the objects okay for conduction to happen i need both the objects to be in contact if this is hot heat is flowing this way i need this contact okay what is the unit of measurement for specific heat capacity what was the unit i told you unit for delta q specific heat capacity how do we measure specific heat capacity जूल्स पर किलोग्राम पर डिग्री सेल्सियस केल्विन पर सेकेंड ग्राम पर क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर क्यूब न्यूटन पर स्क्वेयर मीटर व्हाट वाज स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी इट इज ए जूल्स पर किलोग्राम पर डिग्री सेल्सियस हाउ डू वी राइट दिस जूल अपॉन केजी डिग्री सेल्सियस दिस इज द यूनिट ऑफ specific heat capacity in which process does heat transfer occur through electromagnetic waves okay in which process conduction convection radiation insulation again they have mentioned electromagnetic waves answer is radiation which of the following materials is a good conductor of heat wood plastic copper styrofoam so i told you metals are always better conductors as other solids okay so amongst this which one is a metal copper copper not wood not plastic not styrofoam copper because it conducts heat very readily very fast okay how does a calorimeter measure heat okay how does a calorimeter measure heat what does it do to measure heat by measuring the temperature change by measuring mass of the substance by measure the 
specific heat capacity by measuring volume of the substance a calorimeter does this by measuring the temperature change okay always remember calories related to temperature how does a calorimeter work it uh, it works by measuring the temperature change temperature change a change in temperature supposedly uh, it goes from 50 degrees celsius to 60 degrees celsius how many how much heat was involved to increase this will be in calories okay this would be given by calorie meter which temperature scale is commonly used in most countries around the world which one is the most commonly used which temperature scale it is centigrade centigrade celsius okay this much degree centigrade this much degree celsius okay that is centigrade it is most commonly most widely used in most countries okay so maximum number of countries you will see they use centigrade scale what is the specific heat capacity of water now this is an important question okay i have not told you about any other substance the specific heat capacity but of water it is important because it has been asked so so what is the specific heat capacity of water remember it is 4.18 joule per gram degree celsius okay so 4.18 joules j divided by gram degree celsius okay this is the unit this is the value for water specific heat capacity of water specific heat capacity of water always remember this how does convection occur in the formation of sea breeze okay i have told you a simple panda supposedly this is land this is water or sea this is land there is cold air high pressure okay everything that is cold it has high pressure okay this is hot air during day okay low pressure cold air moves over here hot air moves up it comes over here and again this cold air goes over here this is the cycle that is going on so hot air rises and cold air sinks cold air rises hot air sinks heat is transferred through direct contact heat is transferred through electromagnetic waves no electromagnetic waves are over here heat is transferred through direct contact no hot air rises and cold air sinks okay cold air rises and hot air sinks answer is a always always hot air goes up rises and cold air will stay below it okay always hot air rises that is why see in hot air balloons okay supposedly this is a hot air balloon okay they have some fire over here that is hot air it rises upwards okay hot air goes up if you have seen your mom make tea okay mom make tea hot air is going up right it goes up 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 have you seen your refrigerator if you open that cold air always supposedly this is a fridge okay and you have opened it the door is open there is cold air coming out but it falls down it does not go up why because it has more mass it is cold it falls down okay which of the following is an example of heat transfer by conduction okay now we all know what is conduction out of these options tell me which one is using conduction all right feeling the warmth of the sun on your face heating a metal spoon in a hot cup of soup feeling the coolness of a breeze on a hot day standing near a bonfire and feeling warm answer is b 
heating a metal spoon in a hot cup of soup, soup because it involves direct contact on all the rest there was no contact okay feeling the warmth of the sun that is radiation coolness of breeze that is also no contact standing near a bonfire radiation how does heat transfer occur through insulation okay now we come to insulation insulation means we prevent transfer okay we prevent transfer by electromagnetic waves by movement of fluid particles by direct contact between objects by reducing heat flow through materials so what over here is preventing heat transfer by reducing heat flow through materials that is insulation by reducing the heat flow through materials best conductor of heat is what okay so i have told this to you in the lecture as well metals are generally good conductors but amongst this metal these metals there is one metal that is considered the best conductor of heat which is silver all right silver is considered to be the best conductor of heat absolute zero temperature is now amongst this degree celsius what was the absolute zero okay for degree celsius absolute zero was minus 273 degree celsius okay minus 273 degree celsius this is absolute zero okay melting point what happens to the melting point when this happens on adding impurities it increases never changes decreases on adding impurity none of the above when you add something supposedly this was water okay now i have added sugar to it i have added tea to it okay tea sugar what will happen to the melting point okay melting point of these let's take another example of solids supposedly i have some ice okay in this ice in the water there was some more impurities okay let's consider sugar sugar frozen sugar okay what will happen to the melting point okay what will happen to the melting point it decreases on adding impurity so it will melt faster it will melt faster okay that means the temperature at it at which it was supposed to melt has now decreased okay has now decreased okay so that will be all for the example session on heat